All right, so to start off, we want to provide some context and really set the stage here for what we're going to focus on today and why it's so important to build LGBTQ plus inclusive schools and communities right now. So this first graph that we're going to look at that you can see in the slide deck is provided by the Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network, which is also known as GLSEN, which is a very reputable LGBTQ plus organization. And every two years, they conduct a national school climate survey to gain more empirical data on challenges that LGBTQ plus students face in schools. So the 2019 National School Climate Survey is the most recent. The 2021, they haven't released yet. Um, but in the 2019 one, GLSEN provided data for areas such as hostile school climate and its effects, LGBTQ plus related school resources and supports, changes in school climate for LGBTQ plus students over time, and differences in LGBTQ plus student school experiences. So as you can see in this chart, some notable statistics, which you can see some of them on the right as well, 59.1% of LGBTQ plus students felt unsafe at school because of their sexual orientation, 42.5% because of their gender expression, and 37.4% because of their gender. In addition, 68.7% of the LGBTQ plus students experienced verbal harassment, um, which is they classify as called names or threatened at school because of their sexual orientation, 56.9% because of their gender expression, and 53.7% because of gender. 56.6% of LGBTQ plus students who are harassed or assaulted in school did not report the incident to school staff most commonly because they doubted that effective intervention would actually happen or that the situation could become worse if it was reported. Uh, only 13.5% of students reported that their school had a policy regarding LGBTQ plus support. And lastly, only 19.4% of LGBTQ plus students were taught positive representations of the LGBTQ plus community in their school. So GLSEN indicated several areas of improvement in which LGBTQ plus students experience cool climate. So that's really great, but clearly based on these statistics, a lot more work needs to be done. And that's where we come in. Uh, this empirical data provides us with a national perspective. And so now we can zoom into Marin and look a little more locally. So on this next slide, um, before actually I speak about this data, I just wanna provide a content warning that suicide, chronic mental health struggles, harassment, and bullying are all mentioned in this data. So just wanted to give you a heads up on that before I dive in further. So this data includes information from the California Healthy Kids Survey from 2017 to 2019 um, in Marin County alone. So the percentage of questioning or LGBTQ plus students that considered suicide were significantly higher than those of straight students. So in fact, if you look at the graph on the left, and if you look specifically at ninth graders, 40% of LGBTQ plus students and 25% of students questioning their sexual identity considered suicide compared to 11% of straight students. And then in the chart on the right, you can see the same type of trends only with higher percentages. So again, for those specific ninth graders, for example, 63% of LGBTQ plus students and 41% of students questioning their sexual identity experience chronic sadness slash hopelessness compared to 24% of straight students. So ideally, we would love if no students, regardless of their sexual identity, ever considered suicide or experienced chronic sadness or hopelessness. But this data shows how severely LGBTQ plus students in Marin are experiencing struggles with their mental health. And then to add on to that, as you can see on the next slide, LGBTQ plus students in seventh, ninth, and 11th grade all experience truancy and harassment or bullying at significantly higher rates than straight students. And in some cases for questioning students as well. So all of this data comes to show that LGBTQ plus students in Marin and in the schools we're working at need more support, whether it be with their mental health, with academics, with inclusion and belonging, etc. And we are all here to help. So today we will give you tools that will significantly and positively impact the lives of our LGBTQ plus students and community members.